Hello friends and welcome to Digimento. Today we will be discussing about the present um, contemporary issue that is the increase in gold price. So we will see what are the factors responsible for increase in the gold price and what is the trend in the gold price in India recently. Especially after the COVID-19 outbreak and the subsequent lockdown, you must have seen that the gold prices are on hike. So the gold prices are increasing. Let's see what is behind that in this lecture. So let's begin. But before that, this is our channel. And if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon for getting the notifications and do share this video with your friends. And if you're preparing for GATE, NTA, UGC, NET or PGT computer science, you can avail our online courses. You can sit at home and prepare for the <coughs> examination. So you can visit our website www.digimento.com or you can call to this number for getting more details about the online courses that we provide to you. So let's begin with the lecture. Now you will see that uh, here in this graph you will see from April that is uh, see uh, in this graph it is very clear. So from the month of April that is when the lockdown was imposed the trend is increasing so overall even though there is here even though it goes down uh, overall there is an increase so relatively compared to the previous day or something there must have been a fall but especially after july you will see that it is increasing there is a very steady increase and also it is very steep which means there is a steep increase in the prices of gold so this is the global scenario this is not just with india this is the global scenario so from this graph you will understand especially after the outbreak of COVID-19 so after the outbreak of COVID-19 and the subsequent lockdown imposed by various countries due to COVID-19 to contain the spread of COVID-19 how the gold prices have increased how it has steadily increased so this is the graph which shows that now let's come to India so in India also the situation is not much different. See uh, from the month of March last, the last week of March, this is when we had a, sorry. So uh, the last week of March is when we had imposed the national lockdown in India. So from here, you, you will see that, sorry. So from here, see you will see that there is an increase and from the mid of july if you look at the graph mid of july onwards there is a very steep increase so very steep increase in the prices of gold since the july mid okay so here in indian scenario also now from this what we can get is the analysis that we can make is that covid 19 the outbreak of covid 19 and the subsequent lockdown has a huge impact on the prices of gold which has helped in increasing the prices of gold okay now uh, the indian bullions and uh, jewelers association so this is the uh, prices of gold as on 4th of uh, august so i have not updated it today is uh, 10th of august but i have not updated it okay it's uh, on 4th and even after 4th you will see that there is only a increase so a steady increase in the prices of gold so on uh, 4th of uh, August it was 4,946 which is a very high price and this is for 22 carat and 5,400 for 24 carat gold but e now it has even further increased to a uh, larger extent so it is even higher now okay <coughs> so this is it and now let's come to uh, the Indian scenario. Let, let's analyze what are the reasons behind it, re, behind the gold price. So in April and uh, May 2020, about 99% of gold imports fell down and gold price showed a increasing trend. Now uh, the import of gold fell. So when import of gold uh, falls, what does it mean? It means that the supply of gold is lesser. So we will analyze the demand factors as well this is regarding the supply the import of gold has fallen which means there is a fall in the supply we will also see demand factors but now for your understanding i'm just telling you something 
So when the demand is more than the supply, what will happen to the prices? Generally, the prices will be high. So when demand is more than supply, which means there is inadequate supply to meet the present uh, demand, then the prices will fall. So this is what has happened in case of gold also. So import of gold has fallen indicating that there was lesser supply of gold whereas we will see what happened to demand. Demand has increased. We will come to it. Now let's see who fixes the gold prices in India. So there is no benchmark price for gold in India and this is the formula used for the calculation of gold prices per 10 gram. Okay. International gold price into US dollars to INR rate conversion. So uh, US dollars to Indian rupee conversion rate. So international gold price. Gold price at the international level into the US dollar to INR rate conversion. So the rate into 10. The Here this 10 indicates 10 grams of gold. So 10. This is the um, calculation formula for the prices of gold in India. And demand for gold is very low and why prices are increasing. Now, uh, let's come to the demand in detail. Then I will explain it to you. I told you already when the demand is higher than the supply, what will happen? The prices will increase. Now, for example, when the demand is less, what will happen? Usually, when there is no demand for a commodity, then definitely the prices of the commodity should fall. But here in case of gold, why it is not happening? The reason is because gold is a safe haven in the investment market. So here the demand is low. So what kind of demand is low here? It is not the investment demand for gold, but it is the domestic demand or the household. We can say it is household demand or the domestic demand. So domestic or the household demand for gold is low. But the investment demand or in the investment market, gold has a high demand because it is considered to be a safe haven. What is meant by safe haven? It means that there is low investment risk. So when the investment risk is low, we call it as a safe haven. So in the investment market, there is high demand for gold, even though there is no or less demand for gold in the household sector or in the domestic market. I hope you got it. Now, let's see what are the common determinants of gold price. The first factor is the demand and supply factor. So, when demand is high, demand and supply factor here, when the demand is high, what will happen? The prices will increase. And when the supply is less also, the prices will increase. Okay. Now, second one is inflation. So, when the inflation rates rise, the value of currency will decrease. So, when inflation is high, the value of a currency will decrease. We know that. Inflation means uh, the prices of commodities are increasing, which means you have to give more money to purchase one unit of commodity compared to the earlier scenario. So, the value of the currency will decrease. So, most other investment avenues fail to deliver inflation beating returns. So, during the time of inflation, any uh, investment in the financial assets, the returns will be very less. So, even if the high rates of inflation last for an extended period, gold act as a perfect hedge, which means that there is lesser uncertainties with regard to the return of gold. During inflation, the currency's value will decrease. Therefore, the financial assets, if you are making investments in the financial assets, the value or the returns will come down. Whereas, even though the inflation lasts for a very long time, gold will not be or gold prices will not be affected due to that. Okay. <coughs> now, third factor is the interest rates. So, when the interest rates fall, People don't get good returns on their deposits. Here interest rates refers to the uh, interest earned by the customers or people on the bank deposits or uh, deposits in the uh, financial assets. So uh, in that situation, when the interest rate is less, the returns from the deposit is less. So another alternative is the purchase of gold. So the households will go for the purchase of gold. Another one is the Indian jewelry market. And again, uh, the government uh, holds, the government of India is also holding gold reserves. It is held by the RBI. So the price of gold can get impacted depending on whether it buys or sells more. Suppose if the government is purchasing more gold, if buying of gold is more, then the price will increase. 
Now, India is the second largest consumer of precious metal. It imports a lot of gold to meet the high demand. Therefore, import duty also plays a very important role because India is the second largest consumer of precious metals. Gold is a precious metal. Now, since we are dependent on imports for our gold requirements, if the import duty is increased by the other countries which imports gold to India, again the prices can increase. Another one is currency fluctuation. In the international market, the gold is traded in terms of US dollars. So, the trading of gold takes place in US dollars. So, obviously what will happen when the value of US dollar increases, definitely the price of gold converted into Indian rupees or in terms of Indian rupee, it will again increase. So, these are certain factors, uh, the determinants of gold price. So, I hope this video was helpful to you. Uh, it is very much relevant in the current context. If you have felt that this video was of help to you, please do share this video with your friends. Also, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. And for more details about the online courses that we provide, please do visit our website or call us. Thank you so much. Wish you a happy learning.